What's happening YouTube? Just a quick video because I'm having a newbie moment so I thought I'd share. I've gone out and bought myself an air compressor for um, airbrushing. This is an AF186. I bought it on Amazon um, with a few extra bits. I spent about 130 quid. Um, my project this time is to spray paint a T-Rex. This is a 3D printed model. Uh, this is just a head because it's a test. I want to see how much detail I got out of it. But the problem I was having was setting the PSI on this machine because the thing comes with no instructions whatsoever about setting the PSI. It just literally says, here's your compressor, there's your on and off switch, go for it. Um, so anyway, I jumped in using logic or what I thought was logic. I started turning the regulator to loosen it to gain less air pressure out of the gun. And what happened was this. What you hear is air escaping because what I've just done was I've actually loosened uh, the seal of the actual regulator itself. That's not what we're supposed to be doing. So I had to tighten this back up. What I should have done was lifted this and that disengages the lock and then you've got a plus or minus there to adjust the actual power on your regulator. And I'm just going to give you a quick demo on how that works. So I let the tank fill up again and uh, now when I press my airbrush you can see that the gauge is telling me that I'm getting about 25 psi once I press the button. Maybe a little bit lower than that, close to 20. So I'm going to just up the, the gauge a little bit, turn it to plus. And now you see that we're hovering around 25 psi. So that's the answer, guys. Lift it. That gives you your, it unlocks the regulator, and you can turn it plus or minus. When it's pushed down, you're actually tightening the regulator itself within the unit, which you don't want to do. Right? Don't do what I did. And that's how you set your psi.